This video is for comedy purposes only, and as such, should not be taken too seriously. Do you really have to get that close to kill an owl? Was he hoping to eventually put the end of the arrow to its head before pulling the trigger? Hey, there's Laurie! And that's a fucking sin. Herschel's gone into full hobo mode. That's rather uncalled for. It's still food in the end of the day, and that stuff often has a lot of protein in it. Or would you rather starve? It's not like Rick is thinking of going and hitting up fucking KFC later on. I have never known a prison that builds watchtowers along the edge of the prison, but then uses a simple wire fence with just barbed wire along the top. It's like they've confused elements of a high-security prison with elements of a low-security one. Could really have done with Herschel's infinite shotgun ammo hack here. The Walking Dead loves to show the apocalypse as vehicles randomly placed on their sides, but it doesn't make a great deal of sense. If they wanted to block that gate, they could have just parked it really close to the fence, and at least then you can still use it if you have to. They also seemingly tipped it away from the fence, hence why the wheels are facing towards us, whereas tipping it towards the fence would have made a lot more sense if you wanted to permanently close it off. Oh, also, in a real prison, you wouldn't have barbed wire missing from the side of the fence here. Pathy, sing Patty Riley for me. I haven't heard that, I think, since your mother was alive. Yeah, it will also help to launch your album and singing career. One minute and 40 seconds of singing and drawing walkers to your fence. I think hitting them on the helmet with a knife has just got to equal a sin. Jesus, go and have a f***ing shower first. He's kissing her arm and she's got zombie blood all over it. If I do, if there is any chance, you put me down immediately. You don't hesitate. Wow, you want to say something like this and you'll have takers lined up around the block to kill your annoying ass. I wouldn't even hesitate if I thought there was a 1% chance that she was kind of acting like a walker. Far enough. Not locking the gate behind them when they rushed in Herschel a minute ago. If he dies, you need to be there for that. You think you can do this? Maggie will be there. In this situation, you'd want to make your group look bigger than it actually is. So even though Herschel is in a bad way, it's more important to have Glenn out the front with the rest of the guys to have a show of force. The reason for this is because ultimately it's far more important to look after the safety and security of everyone in the group rather than one person. As far as we can see, at least half the population has been wiped out. And how exactly did you come to that conclusion? For that to be true, they'd have to have come across as many people alive as there are dead, and we know that hasn't happened. Some may say he's lying, but he's told the truth up until now about everything, and it wouldn't make much sense to lie about that one point. If we can get him through when this... When we get him through this? Unrealistically fast verbal reflexes there in interrupting her and correcting her sentence. Bitch. You look disgusting. Whilst I 100% agree with Carol, she can't really say that, since she's not covered in dirt or walker blood, she's not dripping with sweat and her hair isn't all greasy and clumped up together because it hasn't been washed in months. She actually looks pretty normal. But yeah, she's disgusting. And that's where you aim. These things only go down with a headshot. You ain't gotta tell us how to take out a man. Yes, because clearly you're all murderers being kept in a low security prison. They were good men. Clearly. Hence why they're in prison. 
The fact that he's not waking up and screaming the place down because his lower leg was cut off with an axe. That'd be the son of a bitch you'd really want to be Thank scared. Thank you. She's looking at Andrea like, how could you say thank you, when technically he is right. They weren't safe, and now they're being looked after since he found them. He had a gun on them initially, but then he also didn't know exactly what they'd do to him either. The absolute smartest thing to do in this instance is just to say thank you and make sure you're safe. They call you that? Some nicknames stick whether you want them to or not. Buzz is a nickname, Governor's a title. No, Governor is a nickname too. Not the Four Seasons, but there's a hot shower. Water's limited, so I'll keep it short. We got food, water, fresh clothes. I really don't think you'd lay all of this out for perfect strangers. I mean, fuck me, look at the amount of blueberries there. I saw what your patrols do on the way in last night. They had a dead one strung up like an ornament. How does she know that that was these guys? She was in and out of consciousness, with a blindfold on or something over her eyes, and furthermore was driving fast at the time. How about instead of just assuming it was them, she actually just asks, and really what the hell is the problem with it in the first place? This to me just seemed like trying to pick a fight with someone when you are in the best position in the world after having been in the worst position for almost a year. For this I'll add 5 sins, since I'm betting all of us would be more than happy to shut up and enjoy the safety rather than being a bitch over tiny things. Name's Andrea. What, you know her? No. I'll die before I let that happen. getting really sick and tired of the way she's glaring at him when all he's done is give them a safe place to spend the night. Food, water, shower, bed, medical care, and again safety and now breakfast and tea. But she's glaring at him like he's kicking her shin under the bloody table every 15 seconds and it's annoying as hell. Hate the guy later on when he deserves it, but not right now as it just doesn't make sense. Adding yet another 5 sins for this as it just simply would not happen. Sorry, I got breakfast short, but just can't wait. We want our weapons. Once again, this reaction is annoying as hell. Yeah, the other guys didn't make it, I'm sorry. But Wells, he told me I would find you here. He wants me to bring you to him. They found Wells, they got him, they found him. We sure did. He's like 10 feet further away. I think he heard. <laughs> Dribbling while smashing his head in. Go put a muscle into that young man's knees. Go put a muscle into that young man's knees. Okay. You know how many friends' corpses we had to drag out this week? Just threw them out like... These were good guys. I'm not going to say every single prisoner is a bad person because I know for a fact that that's not the case. But they can't keep trying to use an argument that the inmates were good people. For one, prisoners for the most part act very differently with other prisoners than they do people on the outside or guards. They'll just be waiting for a chance to grab our weapons. You want to, you want to go back to sleeping with one eye open? I never stop. Oh yes, don't elaborate on that point. Is he trying to say he secretly deep down suspects someone in the group will try to kill him, or is he just simply saying that he doesn't feel safe in the prison? Either way, the statement on its own with no explanation is worth a sin. Do you have to touch it to know it's blood? That's sin number one, but sin number two is that these morons rocked up back to the camp with a false story regarding the soldiers in mind and even allowed the people to look around the vehicles. Yet they decided for one reason or another not to wash down some of the blood on the way back. You'd think one soldier would drive away, especially against something so slow. Lots of bullet holes. You think biters figured out how to use weapons? Once again, this is both dumb and nonsensical. You've got her, who is suspicious of this guy who has lots of armed men at his back, but instead of just knowing he likely killed them and then telling Andrea and leaving with her as intended, she decides the best course of action is to play detective and annoyingly try and blatantly tell him that she thinks he killed them, risking both of their lives if he tries to silence them.
We now return to Michonne walks around slowly scowling at people and saying dumb shit that would almost get her killed. Considering literally just six seconds passed during that over the shoulder pan, those walkers moved incredibly quickly and then slowed down again. I can't tell if this is the arm or the leg. Woohoo! <laughs> where is where is she? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Here I'm going to go quite serious after the last sin removals and say that this bit genuinely really hit me in the feels. I think Maggie and Rick's acting were off the charts amazing and I truly felt for him. So here I'll remove two sins. <sighs> Seriously? Take some sins for acting like such a douchebag, and in a way that really wouldn't happen. I'm here. That is all of you. Walkers that become calmed when cuddled. Once again, what the hell is the point in doing this? One against four, all of us armed to the teeth, and you with just your little pig sticker. No, 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 Michonne. Really? She stayed completely silent in the trees all this time, never making a single sound up there? We're dying here. Mirage phone call. She said it was safe. It is. No attacks. Mirage phone call number two. No. All right. Herschel's signature infinite nodding hack. This show is seriously trying to tell us that you can just hide in what is actually a pretty open view of the woods. I know it's all for fun and they're trying to paint a picture of her being a badass ninja warrior, but this is just silly. And here's Michonne just getting back from a trip to the further. Hello? You didn't want to tell him how your wife died? Mirage phone call number three. This could literally only happen in The Walking Dead. I mean, both of them have their guns trained on him and he's not only able to get his gun from behind his back, bring it out in front of himself, but also fire a shot and in the process take her hostage. Bloody hell. <laughs> what happened, Rick? Mirage phone call number f***ing four. I mean, come on, I can understand a slight mental breakdown, but to imagine multiple phone calls like this is just retarded. Michonne? Michonne?